Okay, back again, bandit level 8 to level 9, um, and the level goal is that the password for the next level is stored in the file data.txt and is the only line of text that only occurs once. Um, the same commands as before, and we've got this, this helpful reading material about piping and redirection, so maybe that's going to be something important. We've kind of touched on redirection already, but we haven't talked about piping yet. Um, so. Okay, let's let's have a have a look. Um, I'm logged into Band 8, and ls we've got data.txt in our home folder again. So let's have a look at it. Just why not? Okay, so it's loads and loads of random strings, and supposedly there's only one unique string in this whole thing. So we have to figure out a way to extract that. Now, Control L. How are we going to do that? Well, maybe we'd start by looking at grep. Um, see if there's anything to do with grep that looks at that looks at like unique unique um, lines or something like that. And so we can have a look. Count files without match. Files with matches. Max count. No messages. By file name. So and th and this is what you're going to have to do, right? Like I hope it, everyone, if anyone is watching this, I hope that you try first maybe this approach where you, where you look at some of the these commands, the man pages, and see if there's anything that looks um, particularly useful. Okay, so it's not looking it's not looking good, right? This is just obviously a very quick scan, but but there's nothing that really jumps out. So let's come out of here. So we're probably not going to be using grep. We've got this one jumps if you think unique, right? You've got this unique command or UNIQ command. So let's have a look at that. Report or omit repeated lines. So this is way more up our street. This looks like gold. Um, we have this synopsis where we just use unique on some input uh, filter adjacent matching lines from input or standard input writing to output or standard output okay so we can we can specify an input file and, and an output file if we want if not it's going to just do it from standard input and to standard output with no options matching lines are merged to the first occurrence so uh, filter adjacent matching lines So what happens if we just use this, right? Let's try it. Let's get our hands dirty with this. So if we use unique, okay, nothing particularly useful, right? We've still got like a jumble of random strings. Um, so let's let's get back into. Let me clear this. Let's get back into this man page and see what's going on here. So, you know, looking at this, I'm thinking. It's it's taking it's looking for adjacent matching lines, right? We've never we haven't said when we looked at the file originally, the matching lines weren't next to each other. So this is looking to see if, if a line below it or above or you know line below every time if it's matching, it's gonna do something with that. Um and we've not got them adjacent, so that's gonna be a problem. Um and is there anything else? So this U, unique, only print unique lines. So that's also um, pretty interesting, right? We're obviously going to have to use this U flag. If we try to use it now, yeah, because it's it's looking for the the adjacent lines, and it's just saying that yeah, this is this is unique because it's not um, next to a match, so it's printing it. So we're just getting loads of stuff. Um, so this is like part of the process, right, of just trying to uh, reason out what these commands do if they're the first time you've seen them. And so we need a way of putting the matching lines together. And the next one in this little list that we can look at that might make sense would be using sort. So we can look at the man pages of sort and see what happens. 
sort lines of text files. Um, write sorted concatenations of all files to stand output with no file read standard input and it's just we use sort and we can specify the file name and it's gonna it's gonna um, write them to standard output which means it's gonna come into our terminal on our screen right it's gonna print them so I think we should try and use sort yeah so this looks very promising we've now got list of sorted matching um, strings so that's great so it looks like we're we're getting close now by doing this um, and this is where something important comes in because we need to now somehow find a way to link um, let me clear this the the output of that result you know we've got this sort data.txt and we could do that and then we could save that as a file or you know and we could then put that into the um, unique command but is there a way to sort of bridge that gap is there a way to just take the 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 result of this command and plug it straight into the unique command because if we could do that that would be super useful right and of course this is something that has been thought about and and there is such a, a way to do this in in Linux um, it's using a thing called a pipe this is this piping and redirection here and the pipe is just this symbol uh, what that does is it it says if I can continue the command what it does is this command is set oh heck sorry lost it what it's doing is it's saying that this command take the result and pipe it into so use that result as the input for this unique u command okay so it's going to take that sorted text with all the matching line outputs um, and it's going to plug it into here and as we saw earlier we're expecting the lines to need to be next to each other for it to correctly identify the unique line um, so let's give that a go let's see what happens yep and just like that we get our, our flag or our password or however we want to call it um, so yeah that's and that's that's piping for you I mean you, you know this isn't you don't just have to do it once you can pipe several commands into each other uh, which allows you to like, th this is like mind-blowingly powerful right because you can just uh, start to make these huge pipelines of, of commands and you're manipulating data in like a, a very complicated way um, yet very succinctly and and um, you know without having to it's just it's just so powerful I'm sure you can grasp the sense of how how useful this sort of piping ability is um, so yeah that's again going to keep coming up and you're going to get lots of practice using that uh, and it just is one of the, the super pluses about using Linux okay um, that's enough rambling from me so I shall see you in level 9